Ollie, having gone a goal ahead in that game, disappointing not to take something from it? Yeah, obviously to go to go in front and obviously to lose a goal so soon after as well and then obviously to go behind. Um, it was a matter of us trying to chase the game and get back into the game so it was disappointing for us to, to lose a goal so soon after scoring um, and ultimately not getting the, getting the three points to the point that we needed. From your own point of view on the score sheet again, good strike right in the bottom corner, ball landed at your feet, was that what was in your mind, just hit it? Yeah, obviously when Paul slipped the ball in it just kind of opened up, um, the defence backed off so I thought why not have a go. We've been doing a lot of shooting and training recently as well, so I thought, why not just have a go and see where it ends up and lucky enough ended up in the back of the net. They always say in football, though, you're, you're vulnerable just after you've scored, and, and so that proved, as you say, we lost the, the equaliser pretty early after that. Defensively disappointing goal to lose? <coughs> yeah, I think so. Obviously, it was a bit of a scramble in the, for the first goal. Um, not really sure who scored it in the end. Um, and then, obviously, the second goal was just a... Obviously, it's, it's bounced in front of off, he saved it, and obviously they fall down, and it's one of those one of those things that it happens in, in football. Obviously, so then it gave us a, a hard task to try and get back into the game. Obviously, we, we huffed and puffed and try to just really can, can really break them down in the end. So obviously, it's disappointing for us. Yeah. Aberdeen very similar to Hearts. When they get a goal ahead, they are a difficult side to break down. They defended in numbers, and, and they were happy to clear the ball and just invite the pressure on and just clear the ball, and it just seemed to continue in that vein in the second half. Ah, it got a bit frustrating for us at times. Obviously, we were working the ball side to side and obviously putting balls into the box, but it just wasn't wasn't falling for us. And obviously, we need that wee bit of luck in the, in the day to, to try and get that goal, but unfortunately, it wouldn't come for us. I think what people forget is that Aberdeen last few seasons been the second best side in Scotland. They're, they're right up at the top end again. They are a difficult side to break down, but you know there was enough in there, I think, for the lads to take encouragement from. A few of the new lads got a, a wee run out, and it'll take them time to settle into the way that the team play. Oh, absolutely. Obviously, you're not <coughs> expecting them to just come in and flourish straight away. Obviously, they've trained one, one session with us, so it'll take a wee while for them to bed in. And obviously, lucky enough for us, we've got a game on Wednesday that we can go and try and bounce back from. I know it'll be a tough game, but it's what we're all looking forward to, and the new boys will, will come in, freshen things up, and, and we're looking forward to that game. Maybe a slightly different type of game at Celtic Park. Celtic will give us a bit of time on the ball, but it's important when you go to Parkhead that you take any chances that you get. Oh, absolutely. Obviously, Celtic are a, a class side, and obviously going there will be very difficult task in itself, but we've we've shown that when we've played them here that we can give them a good enough game. So we need to take that into to the game through there and obviously we'll, we'll need to set up so obviously to go and try and win the game, but obviously we know that they'll be um they can cause us problems going forward as well. So as you said it's about when we get a chance to take it and then hopefully getting getting something for there. Again, you'll be hoping to start in again, again against yourself against Celtic yourself. You've got a good scoring record against them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've obviously scored a few goals against them, but it's on the day that counts. Um, so I see what Eddie and Grant, have, see what they're they're going to pick the team to thinks that thinks going to be best to win the game. So if they pick me, then I'll go out there and I'll go out and try and be a striker and score my goals as I might, might try and do. And from a player's point of view, obviously there's all the stories in the press about who might come in as the next manager, the next coach, whatever we want to call the the manager or the head coach. From the player's point of view, do you not let that speculation bother you? You just get out on the training pitch and keep doing what you're doing and worry about that when it happens? Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, we're professionals at the end of the day. We need to just focus on the job and the games in, that are in front of us and the task ahead. Obviously, the, the off-field antics will take care of themselves and as professionals, we'll go on, try and train the pitch, look forward to the next game and prepare properly for that game.